you, Birdie called me the other night because she couldn't sleep and was on TikTok and on her For You page, mm -hmm. um, an edit of me from Freaks and Geeks popped up and okay. she was like, sometimes I really forget that you have been doing this since you were a teenager. <laughs> right. She's like, it's really weird to see a teen, your, t your mom as a teenager mm -hmm. On TikTok. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I guess that's weird. Lisa, how have you been? I've been, I mean, I'm okay. Right, how are you? I'm okay. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly, we, exactly. We made it. Um, I know you have so many exciting things coming up. But I do. You do. You have so many things. But I want to talk to you first about Mental Health yes. Awareness Month. It's the month. True. Yeah. How do you talk to your uh, kids about mental health and things like that? Well, it's sort of like an ongoing conversation with everything with kids. I think, you know, it's best to keep things age appropriate. Sure. And mm -hmm. um, so when they're smaller, you know, you talk about big feelings yeah. and little feelings mm -hmm. and... Um, and now that they're older, you know, like, and we've definitely like gone through things. I've, I have, I can't believe I have a real like firm teenager. Teenager, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have one real, real teenager, and then I have, you know, my little one is ten, almost eleven, and so we're really getting into that, yeah. you know, emotions place. Mm -hmm. Very excited for. Um, the movie Inside Out 2 yeah. to come out, because <laughs> not too soon. Right. Do you feel like with Birdie, you have that teenage angst with her? Well, you know, with birds, it's interesting. We have a really tight relationship, yeah. and mm -hmm. she is very much like her mother in all kinds of ways. Um, <laughs> and she's super expressive. Okay. So it's not, it's not as much of like a, like a typical like teenager like Ugh. Mm -hmm. like I, she's I not my mom yeah, yeah. she's mm -hmm. not like that That's at good. all and yeah. in fact I think that you know she's been in boarding school this school year abroad mm -hmm. and oh, I wow. I know it's crazy yeah per her it's a whole journey <laughs> it was not my choice Just, I mean it was her choice but I mean I'm encouraged I encouraged her to spread her wings yes uh -huh. I think it was I think it's really great for her to experience another culture and mm -hmm. um and also it has you know, freed us up, our relationship up, to being more about the fun things and yeah. less about like clean your room, sure. like do your laundry, get out of bed, yeah. you know, eat your vegetables. Right. <laughs> now there's like someone else that's doing yeah, that. Uh -huh. And so I just get kind of like the fun the stuff. The fun stuff. Kind, yeah. Yeah, but that had to be hard for you to kind of let go. Oh, this year's been really, really impossible. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's right. been really hard. Really? What's been, yeah. the, it, what's been the most difficult thing, you think? Just, like, just seeing her every day, sure. like, in person and, mm -hmm. like, not. yeah, like, just mm -hmm. not getting to hold her and, um, you know, she was, she got really sick in the winter yeah. and, like, not being there right. was really difficult. Mm -hmm. um, so... Yeah, that all has been challenging, you know, but also, again, I really am so proud of her yeah. and the person that she wants. You know, she's very independent, sure. like her mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I thought back to my own teen years and how much I would have loved to have gone to boarding sure. school mm -hmm. and been away from, and especially given the pandemic yeah. and the last few years and what these kids have kind of experienced. Mm -hmm. They've spent enough time with their parents. Right, yes. We've spent, that was like a lifetime of togetherness. I think especially <laughs> like the preteen teenagers sure. are like, can I be around some kids? Yeah, no. Please. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. How is she feeling health-wise, though? She's good. good. She's doing really well, yeah. Um, she's got, uh, so she had a seizure right. and she was diagnosed with epilepsy and, um, yeah, she's on a medication. She's under a doctor's care and so, you know, so far... So good, you're not wood. Wood. yes. Oh, like yes. there you go. Um, and uh, and she's and she's been managing it really well. So right. yeah, but also like all those things, like making sure you get enough sleep. Sure. Yeah. I mean, this is all like it's interesting because you know epilepsy is not exactly like in the same category as mental mm -hmm. health, but it's like all your brain, right? Yeah. And all of the things, getting enough sleep, making sure you're eating well, mm -hmm. be, staying hydrated, all of those things are important and all of those things are hard for teenagers. Sure, no, it's no, that's so true. And like, you said before too, when you were kind of going with her to the, um, and she was kind of diagnosed with ADHD as well. Now that, right? Yeah. She, okay, and so it, did that help you, now that you have those tools, did it help you manage her as well? Or I mean, give her those tools? Can I just tell you, my daughter is so funny. 
I mean, they both are, but uh-huh. Birdie's always like, ugh, you make everything about you. <laughs> and I mean, to be fair, I did a little bit make her ADHD a diagnosis yeah. about me. Because I was like, <laughs> but I have it too. Right. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think that, like, trying in the best, like, in the, in the easiest ways to help her with like what has been helpful for me Mm -hmm. but also like she is a different person and her own experience is her own experience Mm -hmm. so I wouldn't say it's like been our like a thing that sure has bonded us yes no (laughs) how does she feel when you talk about her on like the podcast and things like that do they well girls care at all cricket does not want me to post her on instagram and that's like totally reasonable and I don't Um, and so then I got like weird comments from people that are like well you clearly have a favorite daughter (laughs) well I don't Um, but okay whatever Mm -hmm. because yeah Um, people are wild people Uh, are wild but Birdie doesn't Birdie doesn't mind it she kind of likes it and you know sometimes I mean there are certain things that I think in retrospect I mean all of this happened simultaneously Mm -hmm. right like um when I started Instagram, it was like a very new platform. Sure, yeah. mm-hmm. And so it wasn't kind of the same thing that it is were I to like have children right now. Yeah. You know, for right. instance. Totally. Like different mm-hmm. decisions would probably be made yeah. mm-hmm. to protect everyone involved. Yeah. Um, but I do also think that there's value in sharing stories and um and connecting with people Mm -hmm. and i know for me personally thinking back all those years ago when i started you know doing instagram stories and really talking about my life and what my experience was um i was in a place as a mom that i felt so alone and Mm -hmm. isolated and i didn't know that there were thousands and thousands of other women that were like experiencing the same thing feeling the same things Mm -hmm. and it you know, I think at its best that like what is what social media has given so many of us, especially women, Mm -hmm. you know, and then we know what it is at its worst. Yes, we do. (laughs) But the good news is I think a little bit because of my own, my own, I don't know, social media presence Mm -hmm. and my kids awareness of it from such a young age, Mm -hmm. they I feel like have both been making really good choices in terms of their, how they interact and how they choose to or not Mm -hmm. choose to uh, use social media and and like the internet in general. No, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's like you said, it can be a scary place, but like, but you have created such a community for people and for women and for parents too. And I know what I loved is that when you posted about Birdie using the they, them pronouns, Mm -hmm. and I'm sure you were flooded with comments about people maybe going through the same things. Oh yeah. And definitely. Yeah, definitely. But is it great to see your daughter being able to kind of figure out exactly who they are and, um, yeah. And Birdie is like, Birdie uses she, her now again. Mm -hmm. And like, that's the, I actually think that's so incredible and speaks to just how wonderful and Mm -hmm. easy (laughs) this all, this entire conversation should be, which is like, meet your kids where they're at, support Mm -hmm. them where they're at, love them no matter what. And they're going to figure it out. Like everyone figures out what they, you know, where they are and where they belong. Mm -hmm. And um, as long as you're giving like unconditional support and love, um, I don't, I I really fail to see how it's harmful to anyone. And I also just, you know, I think it's um, become one of these things that's like very much a lightning rod, like hot button issue for people to focus on that's really like has nothing to do with you or Mm -hmm. your family, like, or what choices you're making sure. in your own home yeah mm-hmm. and it's not ever going to affect mm-hmm. you yeah if it if it's not right no it's unless just, it does unless it does and, it then, <laughs> and then just know like you know I just think we need to like meet all like a lot of the um disparity in this country about a bunch of different issues mm-hmm. we need to just try to continue to meet it with love and empathy and centering The fact that, like, we are all just people trying to live our lives. Mm -hmm. That's it. Wouldn't life be so much easier? That's all. Right. I'm just trying to live my life Mm -hmm. the way that 
I see fit yep. for me and my kids mm -hmm. and my family. Right, and it makes no and difference I, to anybody else's. And I and bless you for your sure. journey mm -hmm. and like how you choose to. Couldn't agree with you more. You know? Yeah. I so it's it it is um. It's wild to me yeah. sometimes, but I but I do think that that's been one of the benefits of like the podcast and mm -hmm. social media yeah. is being, being able to create that community with other like-minded sure, women. definitely. No, totally. Do you have those conversations with your younger daughter too? Do, do oh, yeah. you and Brody have those conversations with her too? As, oh yeah. As she kind of is entering those preteen years? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And um, and Cricket is her own person with her mm -hmm. own really unique interests. Sure. And um, and yeah, and like we'll see how it all, like what it all looks like for Cricket. I am more uh, reticent to mm -hmm. share about Cricket just because, want yeah, yeah, it's not mm -hmm. a thing that, not her thing. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. and so I just really respect that she's like, let me be my own person yeah. and I get it. I'm like, I love that for her. Yeah. Does Birdie want to do more acting? It's such a good question. <laughs> I'm sure you get it a lot. I do. Uh-huh. I'm always asking her to, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. It's, you know, she did with love uh, for Amazon, right. and she was so great, but I think that, thankfully, she's also so brilliant mm -hmm. and uh, and really sees like a bigger picture of life, which is that she wants to learn things, she mm -hmm. wants to go to school, she wants, she's interested in so many different, like linguistics and history are two things awesome. that are, she's really passionate sure. about, especially like, <laughs> the, I'm like, especially the history of war. Uh -huh. I mean, you guys, I don't even know. She's a really cool <laughs> yeah, teenager. A, yeah, right. And really unique. Uh -huh. um, and language, and she loves language. So I think that we'll see what happens. I don't know, I mean, Listen, she can do whatever she wants. Yeah. Is she going to be a guest on your new show coming up? On what? Oh, on my talk show? <laughs> yes. <laughs> special guest? <laughs> my special co-host? No, she's, she's still, she's too busy. She's still you, in school. Are you so excited for it? <laughs> yes, I'm yeah. thrilled. We are um, so excited to be doing like a new late night talk uh -huh. show called Busy This Week. It'll be once weekly starting May 8th at so 10 p.m. So on soon. QVC Plus, mm -hmm. HSN Plus. You can download the app, it's free. You can put it on your TV. You can, it's very easy to do. I did it, if yeah. I can do it, anyone can do, <laughs> anyone it. do it. Yeah, and we have some great guests lined up and um, it's just been such a great, so far like just a really easy, fun way to do a thing that like, I loved doing and had a really great time doing. Totally, that's great. Yeah. Can you tease it? Can you give me any of your guests? That are I, out? I'm just gonna <laughs> say that the girls from Girls Five Eva may <laughs> or may not be my first guests. May or may not, but they I, are. I love that. I love that. Was that? I, I mean, that was so much fun. Is that like what? It, I mean, looking back, you probably get this question a lot too. What's the character that you kind of? gravitate towards, or you would like love my to go, favorite yeah, character like, of all time that you would love to go back and play again. I mean, there's a version of me that would love to do an adult Kim Kelly from mm -hmm. Freaks and Geeks yeah. and just see where she is at age 40. Sure. Mm -hmm. Like, what happened to Kim Kelly? <laughs> right. You know, it would be the 90s, yeah. right? When uh -huh. she's 40. Because totally. mm -hmm. she's, yeah. So um, I've always kind of like thought about that uh -huh. is such an interesting idea. Sure. Um, do you have ideas of where she could? I feel like sort of just thought, like, I think she, like, works in a bank. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. I think she just, like, lives like a normal, normal life. life. Like, mm -hmm. the scariest girl from your high school is just, like, a normal mom. <laughs> just a normal you know what I mean? Like, driving the minivan. Yeah, yeah. she's just, like, she's, like, a cool lady. Like, she's, like, chill. Everybody loves Kim. I love that. But I... Kim? Oh, my God. Kim from work? She's amazing. <laughs> she's amazing. No one knows. She was, like, a terror <laughs> right. in high school. Um, but, yeah, so I always have thought of that. And then, honestly, I have... So I have so many, I am so lucky. I yeah. have had, and I will continue to knock wood again, have such an amazing varied career yeah. with mm -hmm. such incredible characters and working with such amazing people. Mm -hmm. And things that so many people like, it just depends. Like people are like, oh my God, Dawson's Creek. Sure. Oh my God, White Chicks. Oh mm -hmm. my God, Freaks and Geeks. Oh my God, Cougar Town. I get yeah, Cougar Town a lot. lot. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. And now Girls Five Eva, which is my favorite show that I've ever been on. I love that so much. Favorite show that favorite show ever been on. 
I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For a lot of reasons, but like mostly it's the just the pure joy of working with, um, you know, Tina Fey mm -hmm. and Meredith Scardino, who created the show, um, and then the girls yeah. with Paula Pell and Sarah mm -hmm. Bareilles and Renee Elias Goldsberry, who are just like my sisters at this point. And it's, it's funny because I've obviously been on TV shows for mm -hmm. 25 years. Yeah. And people, a lot of you hear a lot of people talk about how they're like a family, and it's not ever real. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's no all, it is. It is. <laughs> it is to a certain extent. But uh, like, this is the first time I, I've ever felt like I'm. I know no matter what happens, and we're, we hope Netflix gives us a season four. Mm -hmm. But no matter what happens, I know we're like walk. I'm walking away with, honestly like three women who will always be in my sure. corner. Yeah. Definitely. And I will always be in theirs. I love that. Do the girls have a favorite work of yours? Do they ever They don't watch back? anything. They don't watch anything. Oh my I, God, I, I mean Mean Girls. So, and, be, and yes, and Mean I, Girls. Yeah, I took uh -huh. the girls to the Mean Girls premiere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Birdie thought it was pretty cool. That's cool. Um, big fan of Renee. Okay, rap. of course. Yeah, obvi. Mm -hmm. Birdie and I went to see Renee play. That was really so fun. Cool. Um, and... Cricket was like, I do not like that character. <laughs> like she was not into it. So, I mean, I understand. Sure. Do you ever go back and watch anything from like the beginning, like Dawson's or Freaks and Geeks? No, but like occasionally, you, Birdie called me the other night because she couldn't sleep and was on TikTok and on her For You page. Mm -hmm. um, an edit of me from Freaks and Geeks popped up and okay. she was like, Sometimes I really forget that you have been doing this since you were a teenager. <laughs> right. She's like, it's really weird to see a teen, your t your mom as a teenager mm -hmm. on TikTok. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I guess that's weird. Right, I'm sure. Can't relate. Can't relate. Nope, definitely can't. Unrelatable experience, Birdie. Um, yes. But, um, yeah, so... I haven't watched and I haven't gone back and watched any okay. of any any of it. Sure. Dawson's or Freaks and Geeks or White Chicks uh -huh. or I mean Maid of Honor. I mean all the things that I did in my twenties. Um, but those edits do pop up. They do pop and up. Every time they do, I'm shocked at how young I am. <laughs> well, you still look so young. I mean, I look great. Yeah, I'm not, you do. It's not my, I'm happy with how it's turned out uh -huh. for me. But when I look uh, you know, in in your head, sure, of course, yes. you still think of yourself as like not that far totally. off from mm -hmm. your twenties. Yeah, and then I see those scenes from Dawson's Creek when people tag me in them, and I am floored. Floored. Mm -hmm. And what a baby I am! Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to go give her a little hug. <laughs> Is there something that you wish you could go back and tell that person twenty something, twenty years ago? No, I mean, I think she knew yeah. it was all gonna. It was all well, gonna, all gonna be work fine. out. It was yeah. all gonna work yeah, out. Yeah, totally. I think I always had that knowledge somewhere, but um, maybe I would be like, "Girl, go get an ADHD diagnosis. Right? <laughs> You're gonna feel better about. <laughs> You're gonna feel better about things. You have so much going on. Thanks. The new show." Mom life, yes. everything podcast. Do you have time for dating? Is, is that anything that you're interested in? Or are you yes, like, yes. yeah, sure. I mean, uh -huh. I am interested in it. Yeah. With varying levels of <laughs> degree <laughs> and success. Uh -huh. Yeah. Interested and then not interested sure. and then interested. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, we'll see. I think it's, um, I feel like very hopeful about yeah. everything.